Hello there, welcome back to the Indian Insight channel. Today I am bringing to you an indicator from the US that is flashing red signal. Let's first understand what is this indicator. In this window here, I have calculated the ratio of the US small cap index to large cap index. The symbol RUT is basically an index that constitutes top 2000 companies in US by market cap. The denominator consists of an index that represents the top 1000 market cap companies in US. So broadly this is small cap to large cap you can say or maybe you want to put it mid cap to large cap indices ratio. Now calculating this ratio can be helpful in identifying which phase of the market we are in. Basically if this ratio is trending horizontal that would mean that both the top 2000 market cap companies and top 1000 market cap companies are broadly performing in line. So they are both participating in the market equally when the market is rising. In contrast if this ratio is rising it would mean that small caps are rising more compared to the larger cap companies. Conversely if this ratio is falling it would mean that the rally is being dominated by larger cap companies and smaller cap companies participation in the rally is falling. Now let's look at what this indicator may signal to us. So in the window below I have the S&P 500 index. This is the weekly chart and in the pane above we have the ratio. I want you to look at this section here of S&P 500. Here the S&P 500 has been rising but during this period which is which is from March 21 to Jan of 2022 we see that the ratio is falling. This means the participation of smaller cap companies in the market was falling during this rise and subsequently we saw that in Jan of 2022 the market topped off and we had a major fall in the market. This similar thing happened before the 2020 COVID fall. Here we see that from February of 2019 to February of 2020 when the S&P 500 was rising this ratio was consistently falling so the participation was consistently declining and then in February and March we had the COVID fall. So, so this indicator would have alerted you that the participation of smaller cap is decreasing and so you are probably in the last stage of the rally before you see a substantial fall in the market. The same pattern happened before this also. Between May 18 and October 18, the S&P 500 was rising but this ratio was consistently declining and then you had a big fall. Similar thing was observed sometime between October 17 and January 18. Again you see the ratio is declining while the S&P 500 is rising and this was followed by a substantial correction in the market. Another thing to note is that the magnitude of fall in the market is directly proportional to for how long the divergence has been in place. For example here there was a divergence for almost a year or more than a year where the S&P 500 was rising but this ratio was declining and so the fall was pretty severe. Similarly in this case we from March 2021 to January 2022 there is around 10 months at least there was a divergence and there was a substantial fall subsequently. Now let's look at the current scenario. In the current scenario also this ratio has been declining since February of 2023. 
and now we are close to February of 2024 so that's close to one year now and while this indicator alone may not be enough to signal that there will be a fall immediately but at least it should tell you that you are at a later stage in the later stage of the market rally this rally is not just beginning it's probably closer to the end than to beginning and accordingly you should try to be less aggressive in the market because you might see a substantial correction anytime in the coming months with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you liked it and if you did please remember to subscribe to the channel and share this video Thank you for tuning in.